Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, it's a yucky day, and Lonnie's feeling yucky. And yeah, I'm uh, he's a cold. little under the weather, um, which is kind of odd because I don't get sick very often. No, I, he doesn't. I do not get colds like hardly ever. So, came down with a touch of something. As a matter of fact, I did work yesterday. Yeah, he worked, but he was just feeling horrible, so we didn't film. Yeah, and I. I did like what maybe half half duty work yeah in here yeah. like i get did all the things i had to do right and didn't do hardly anything that like was kind of optional right you know so, yeah. including um uh, including filming thankfully we do have a few days uh banked yeah it's uh thursday i am feeling you know feeling i don't know nah i'm not feeling great but no, it'll be okay not, a rough night It'll be okay. Candace had a rough night too because she had to deal with me. I'm a big baby when I'm sick. Like, oh, like I think I, I literally was moaning you in my. Are. When you run fever, you moan in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can always tell when you're running fever without even touching your forehead. Yep, yep. So, it'll, I think it'll be okay though. Uh, it is Thursday. We are going. It's raining right now. We are going to try and hit some garage sales tomorrow. Uh, well, I realized I was coming in here just now. Um, we still have stuff on this shelf we haven't showed y'all yet. Yeah. From uh, estate sales. On Sunday. This, the this, estate sales on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, we actually have some pretty decent stuff. We picked up a lot of stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and get orders pulled and packed. And then we'll do a haul and show y'all what we picked up. Yeah, we had a, uh, we had a perfect sales day for... Um, the way I'm feeling because it's like a pretty like we have 14 items going out some of them are pretty good And there's not really any difficult packs. Yeah, no crazy packing. So no like that Something I didn't film yesterday that mr. Christmas back there. I got to bring that to UPS store today. No packs like that today Yeah, but that one came out pretty good though. Yeah. But you ready to get started Candace? I am All right. Yeah, just double check. No, uh, no UPS today no this is a nice nice little break we've been doing a lot of pretty good many ups's lately which i like i like ups usually but mm -hmm. today i would rather not <laughs> ready Are you ready yes i'm ready all right i don't know what this is 10 it's, echo net, netgear switch series gigabyte ethernet unmanaged switch yeah it's just a switch 10 not echo switch. no it's not a nintendo switch it is a uh it's a network switch basically it's like a router sort of except it's not a router it's basically like it's a wannabe router no it basically just gives you like ports. turns turns one port into many ports that's it mini like miniature no, uh m-i-n-i -I. yeah no oh m-a-n-y <laughs> no come on keep this simple please <laughs> that's over 17. okay all right, next item is CC6, uh, new in package, microwave oven thermometer by Sunday. Really? Yeah. CC6? Yep. It's got a red packaging. A microwave oven thermometer. I didn't even know we had the... How, what, 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 what did we get for those? $9? $9? I don't know if I would put that in the microwave. It's got metal. <laughs> it's made to. It says to. Uh uh. Look at that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We have a hat, a night box, a blue salt life. This bright blue should be easy to find. It's probably this one. Here. It's a nice looking hat. Yeah. I like it. Sold a hat. Yeah. Live salt life. Okay. For that, we got $11.69. In the D&D drawer, Canon Compact Power Adapter Charger. Mm -hmm. Yep, right here. Got it. That sold for $13.49. Okay. In the smallest drawer, Kodak Ectochrome. Got it. Super 8 cartridge. Ectochrome 160, yep. 15 for that. That reminds me of that movie, uh, Super 8? No. Okay. Actually, yeah, kind of, I guess it could. <laughs> but no, I was thinking of uh, Kodachrome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see it? No, you've told me about it. Man, it's such a good movie. It's yeah. got Jason Sudeikis in it. Yeah. 
who was from uh but man you haven't watched that either though no i need to get you to watch that uh not that movie but um ted lasso i watched some of ted lasso not your thing it was okay it's not really a sports show no it's comedy kind of funny drama you've watched one though you've watched the entire ted lasso episode yeah i watched a few with you oh, when I didn't it first re- came out i didn't remember that <laughs> yeah we never like the same show. As far as like comedy goes, we have different tastes. No, we ne- we hardly ever do we like the same shows, ever. Hardly. Yeah. The ones you do like that I like, I'm surprised you like them, like Game of Thrones and stuff like that. Well, know? Game of Thrones, I think, I mean, you got to have pretty bad taste not to like that. It, it, unless you don't like the way that they, the storyline went later in the series. I understand that, I guess. Yeah. All right, what's next? All right, we saw the Stephen King paperbacks on oh, yeah. Alpha, 14 paperbacks. Yeah, I kind of spread them all out right here. I'm not going to make y'all suffer through watching me get them all down. So, they sold for $30. So. Yeah, we, we paid, what, a quarter a piece? Yeah. That's, re- that's really good. That's like... So you got like two bucks a book? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's really good Yeah. for paperbacks. Okay, let me pick them up. All right, so... Uh, Oh, it's great. Getting the books up there. I don't know what in the world. What did I do? He had 14 down and I counted them and he went back. I'm like, what's he doing? There's 14 on the bench. There were 19 up there. There were 19. He only photographed 14. He put 14 in the title, but there were 19 books. You know what? I'm just going to send him 19 books. They're going to get a little better deal. Yeah. How did I do that? How how did I must I wasn't here when you listed it. I don't know how I did that. Okay. Yeah. Nineteen books for thirty. But they're worth a little more than that. Yeah. Just to let y'all know. And yeah. you know, so hmm. Alright, so we sold some more of that new cello flatware. We yes. sold four iced teaspoons for twenty five dollars. They're on seven Bravo dash C three. They're in that little box number three. Oh, seven Bravo cello. Well, I know they're spoons. One set. You said there's three sets, right? Two sets. Well, how there's three in here. Oh, there's two left. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Would you we're open really, that for me? I can't do it. We're real quick with the numbers, huh? <laughs> what? We're really quick with the numbers. Huh? Yeah, I'm scared because I had I don't know how in the hell I made this mistake. And yes, there's a rubber band, but it's on the outside of the plastic. Yeah. Okay. What we get for those? Twenty-five, 25 right? Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Yep. So now we've sold what forty five dollars worth of silverware. So now we're in the profit. Not yet. Did we spend like fifty bucks on that? I think yeah, so. I think it was like fifty five dollars. Because I think it was one hundred and ten before that. So yeah, but we are, we're definitely uh, on well on our way. All right, we sold a cookbook on three Bravo one sh- one sh- brothers one sheet. <laughs> Three Bravo? Yeah. We've got a black spine. It's thin. Black spine and it's thin. And it's on three Bravo. Yeah. Okay, I found it on three Charlie. Yeah, three Charlie. No, that is not what you they said. You can hear me because of the air condition. That is not what you said. <laughs> you told me three Bravo. I know it. This must be stopped up from your cold. No, you're gonna that's what Candace does. If I make a mistake like this, <laughs> she'll reference it later and said it's probably just you being an idiot again. Oh have I ever said that? To not me? you don't say it quite like that, but yeah, anyway. Sell for 14. Okay. We have a razor number eleven. 
Okay. Actually, we got quite a few razors. Yeah. R11. Is that that's a uh, that's an old old type. Old type. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay. I, I, I was paying attention to you the other day. Fifteen dollars. Old type fat boy. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> All right, CC12. Uh huh. An Estes. Oh no. Long shot model rocket. Kit. Okay, thank you for not calling it the other thing. CC, that always kind of grossed me out a little bit. SD, Estes. <laughs> Estes. Don't get S Estes. Don't get testy with me. All right, uh, long shot right here. This. 1980 is the number. Yep, that's it. $55. <laughs> I added it up though that yesterday when this sold, I think we've sold close to three hundred dollars worth of rocket stuff now. Yeah, a bunch of paper tubes. Yeah, we've only got like a couple more. We got Big Bertha over there, and then a little like some parachute, like a parachute or something. Or something. I have one more built rocket. I don't know why I didn't list it yet. This guy right here, I still need to list it. it. No, not really. All right, we have another Razor number twenty. Okay. Man, those are so good. This is like from the nineteen twenties. It's actually antique. It comes with a case, I guess. Yes. Boy, that's a like a low profile case too, huh? Those older cases were like metal and oh, metal like that. That's cool. That's right. over twenty. Seven Charlie flip and file floppy disk case. Oh yeah, Seven Charlie. Yeah. I'm glad somebody liked that. Seven Charlie. Yeah. This. Whoa. This is a nice one because it's real modular. It's big too. But then all the little dividers. Does have the keys too. All the dividers in here, they can be positioned any way. So you can. Oh well, anyways, I'm not trying to sell it to somebody else. That's over 25. Yeah. We bought this for uh it was super cheap. I bought like a box full. This had disc in it. At an estate sale. At an estate sale. You bought another like little. You bought two more, like a little one. Yeah. And then another medium size one. Yeah, and I had seventy floppy disks. I sold for thirty bucks. Then I've sold this. I think I paid like seven dollars for all that stuff. In the smallest drawer, this is an um, antique calendar. I put vintage. I don't know why I put vintage. It's antique. <laughs> it's been. Sarsaparilla proverb calendar. Man, this thing has been in here for quite a Spankle while. Spankle Mills, Pennsylvania. Spankle Mills? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Spankle? That's funny. What a word. <laughs> there they are. I know, Sprinkle, not Spankle. Oh. Still, Sprinkle. Presented by W. E. Shank, Shafe or Shaf, Pennsylvania. Spring Medicine Hood Sarsaparilla. Yep, that's over twenty four dollars. Oh, this is from nineteen hundred. Yes, I said I put vintage, but it's really antique. man. That's like man, we don't sell too much stuff that's over hundred years old. No, that's pretty rare. All right, what do we get for that? Uh, twenty four. Then we have one more item, another razor, twenty seven. Okay. This is a um, Gillette black tip. It's sold for 45 And it comes with this beige case with yeah. the clear top? Okay. Yeah. Candace, you need to list some more razors, lady. I know. I've been working on it. I listed the two yesterday. You need to get the... How many more we got? A lot. <laughs> like 50? Uh, probably, yeah, at least. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Well, that's everything that's sold in the past 24 hours or so, or since the last video. So, let me get this stuff packed okay packages are back there everything's packed up ready to roll yep and we have uh some stuff from estate sales on sunday yeah we ended up we went to three and then um and then there was one that was kind of like in another town the opposite direction but i looked at the pictures and i felt like we needed to go so um we ended up going to four sales the first sale was like there's a reason why we drove way out to go to the sale they had so much stuff so i wanted to get there first and we did end up buying a lot of stuff all this stuff on the bench plus more so we ended up spending 107 at this first sale yep and one of the things um is this sony handycam what model is it trv 330 i think that is a and it's not in great cosmetic condition 
really isn't actually it's a pretty bad cosmetic condition i pr probably shouldn't have bought it one thing look this looks like an lcd screen here that's messed up oh yeah hmm hopefully it works i actually do have the charger for this thing so man i didn't notice that yeah i did notice that it wasn't like in great cosmetic condition it's kind of beat so even if you have to end up selling it for parts only, what do you think on that? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. If it works, it'll be over a hundred dollars probably, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I think it'll probably be around. If it works, it'll be a little bit more than a hundred. I won't be able to get top dollar because of the uh, condition and yeah. stuff. All right, these two hats are from there. Yeah. Um, what what is that? What five nights at freddy's yeah five nights at freddy's hat oh that's creepy he's underneath yeah <laughs> and then uh man i thought this thunderbirds hat was cool and it is it, it it's a it's a little dirty that could probably be that's cleaned like dust, up i think but one thing i didn't notice is that like you see that looks like it just kind of slipped out huh yeah but it's not I that, guess it's it, supposed to be It's kind of broken back there, in other words. Oh, that, gotcha. yeah, there's something wrong with it. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So. This is a um, vintage um, shoehorn brass and wood. It's made in Taiwan. That thing is cool. Yeah, I looked it up when we were there because I've never bought any of, of these. Um, and they sell for like 25 to 30 and I, I paid four for it. Yeah, that thing's cool. Yep it's heavy yeah all right so i'm seeing some of this stuff for the first time because lonnie and i were both just making a pile yeah and they started adding it up and boxing it up for us as we added so I, some of the stuff i haven't even seen yeah that 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 is a uh, vintage metal for louisiana music educators yeah band orchestra louisiana music educators association i thought that was kind of cool mm-hmm there's no year on it, huh? Paid no, paid two dollars. Two dollars, yep. That was two bucks, and then. Uh, this oh. this guy worked. We figured he must have worked for the telephone company because yep. there was telephone stuff everywhere, even like brand. You know, like he worked for the company. This is some cufflinks, um, shaped like old-fashioned um, handset telephone. Yeah, I thought they were uh, earrings. I don't know what I thought, but then whenever I did this, I'm like, yeah, those are cufflinks. Yeah. They, yeah, I don't know. I don't see a brand or anything like that there. But those are kind of neat. And then this is a, uh, would you pay for that like $2? I don't know. Okay. This is a Bell South branded pen set. Yeah, the guy worked for Bell South or AT&T. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, Bell South Advertising and Publishing by bradley i've never heard of bradley before there is a hair in there too yeah uh, check this out oh that's cool see i didn't see this yep barlow brand um serving spoon it has south central bell on it uh looks like it was never used it's stainless steel japan yep i, saw, I did look at the maker's mark on it before yeah. i bought it so i thought two, that was neat too two dollars for that i like buying the little advertising or uh promotional pieces or whatever yeah. um wood door lock installation kit yep it's it's new seal it's sealed ryobi it, do you know what you paid for that no i don't um two dollars for this little vintage um it's plastic virgin mary statue it is made in usa really by um consolidated molded products like a plastics company let me see you know anything about it at all no um they also had a jesus there but like his paint was like almost completely worn I think, off i think this might be kind of decent yeah hmm. i thought it was cool yeah i bought three phones um those two over there i paid three dollars for and they're very common yeah. uh beige just touch tone phone yeah. but then they also had this one um that paid ten dollars for this one's head oh wait there's a maker bell system bell system made by western electric it says f1 on it and the rotary thing actually works perfectly yeah it's in good shape and uh yeah this is like 
The case, do you think that's Bakelite, Candace? It might be Bakelite, huh? I don't know. Mm. Oh, this part might be. Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It like, might be. Yeah. No, the bottom is metal. I knew that. Right. But and that that's definitely an older phone there for sure. Oh, yeah, it's in great shape. Yeah. So you pay 10 for that? Yeah, I paid 10, 3, and, and three. 3. Okay. All right, at that same sale and part of that $107, I got these two Nike golf jackets. And this one is Louisiana Open. Chittimacha. Chittimacha. Same thing as this one. Buy.com tour. Yep. And so is that. Yeah. That one has some other advertising on it too. And, uh, yeah, I thought these were nice. They, they're in excellent condition. That one also says Dwight Andrus. I don't know what that is. And this one says Cox. Pro Am. Okay. Yep. Um, actually, the rest of the stuff on the bench is from that sale also. Yeah. Um, I bought this hat. It's in rough shape, like kind of dusty, but I bought it because of the pins on it. I had one of those hats when I worked there. Like yeah, the, I thought it was like some kind of vintage uh, political hat, but Lonnie said no. no. It was issued to all um, yeah, you get workers. This, yeah, you get this hat to work in the sun. Yep. So there's um there's a there's like two Olympics pins on it, and this is a. Is it? A, education i don't know something education is the key to our future oh that's the telephone pioneers of america pen okay so we need to look probably that one up well the, all three of these are olympics so we may be able to bundle them or if they're not worth a bunch we can just sell it with the hat yeah they're um it's because bell south was a sponsor of the 96 olympics so that's why they're on here yeah okay lonnie found this this is an awesome buy I, we haven't looked it up yet um donkey romp main event it's probably a golf event i'm guessing probably so but if you remember we had those little knives with the bees on them those laguile yeah see the remember we had the little knives with the there bees it is. and there they are and these look like they have those never been used carving set yeah it's a little meat carving set with like some rosewood handles yeah they're nice mm -hmm. they're really nice and you paid five for that yep all right this pennant um here is from 1991 they, they packed i didn't see them pack it they yeah they they just kind of balled it up in the bag i'm like what yeah I didn't so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna dampen the back of it and just well we'll see if it's worth anything first yeah. um what did you pay for that do you know i have no idea okay it was 107 for everything yeah that's all i can tell you yeah and then this is also from the Atlanta um, Games 96. Just a little commemorative golf ball set with a pin in it. Yep. Brand new. I don't think that's worth a bunch. Um, they paid 24 for it. Yeah. And you paid two for it. The Atlanta stuff, the Atlanta Olympic Games, for the most part, that stuff is not not have any value. I wonder why. Because there's so much of it. Yeah. There's so much of it, man. Okay. Like, they really, they, like, they I think. promoted the heck out of it, huh? They did. 84 Olympics still has value. 96? No. No. Okay. I mean, you got to remember, 1996, like, mid-90s, that's when, like, companies were pumping out, like, collector's plates and beanie babies and NASCAR stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that. Lapel pins. Right. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. they. They like cranked up the presses on all that stuff. So uh, eBay hit, and they're like, "Oh, there's people collect things." Right. That's uh, really mass produced stuff. Yeah, this is kind of cool though. Mm -hmm. And then that I uh -huh. like that. That's it's my. It's one of my favorite pieces. If you remember, we had that little um sign that's like uh, that that enamel sign um with the bell systems. Oh, it's on right it. here. I'll show them too. Yeah. With, I Just in case they don't it. remember. Yeah, I listed that two days ago. If I can find it. I know it's up here. It's not it. It's not. It's, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, okay. Here we go. This sign. She's talking about this sign right here, which is a repop. Yeah. Long but, distance telephone, but check this out. It's the same little um, logo right here. And we didn't, we did not get these at the same place, but we did get them on the same weekend, right? Right. What the, what's the chances of that, man? That okay. is nuts. This is a Ertl um, die uh, cast iron bank, not die. Well, I guess it could be die cast. A little bank. Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, plastic wheels. Let me see. So made in USA. Replica Ford 19. A replica. A replica? <laughs> really? It's not a real Ford truck. I can't truck? get in there and drive it. That's crazy. Uh, oh, made in Hong Kong. So it's probably 80s or something. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of neat. Mm -hmm. I like it. 
I paid five bucks for that. Yeah. Hopefully it's worth that. Mm -hmm. Looks like somebody did try and like break into the bank or something. Yeah. See that? Yep. I don't know how you open it for sure. But uh, yeah, that's everything we got at that sale. And then we have a few more things from the other sales. All right. So uh, I don't remember where I bought this. Candace said she It was in a this. closet at a garage sale. Uh, it was at a sale, not a garage sale, state sale. It was it, all, that's the only thing we bought there. Yeah, but. this is just a. Uh, no, no, no. We bought this is an air, aircraft carrier hat, and also now that's uh, John C. Stennis Space Center, or it has been for quite a while mm -hmm. over in uh, Mississippi. Yeah. And this is made by New Era Dupont Visor Pro Model, medium to large, USA. So huh. this is actually made in USA by New. Mm -hmm. New era. That's interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. We bought these two. Um, we, these are the canister vacuum bags. We bought two of the same vacuum at this estate sale. Forty dollars for both. Um, what was the name of it? I don't know. Anyway, they're I, they're in the truck. We didn't go get them out. I don't feel like getting them out, I, yeah. but maybe I'll take a picture of it and put it here. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we got two vacuum cleaners and power heads, and then it also came with filters. This. Here's like light bulbs. Yeah, we actually yeah. we paid uh like Candace said we paid twenty a piece for those. Yeah. And then um uh, also at that sale they had a bunch of books. No, this was a different sale than one that I said that I thought we need to drive out to because they had walls of books. And she had the paperbacks for for a dollar. Yep. So Lonnie found a couple of series that are a bolo. She um, was trying to get us okay, th so this is the same this is the same estate sale company where we got the uh, Italianas. Yeah, where we bought the cookbooks. And we talked to her about it, and we said, yeah, this cookbook's doing great, blah, blah, blah. And then they had actually paperbacks. They had, it was, a, it was like a huge wall, probably from like there to where that shipping shelf starts and then right they there. Up some on the next wall. Right. Yeah. And it was all just Paperbacks. paperback books and hardcovers too. And the cool thing was it was like they had them organized by author and there was money to be made there. Mm -hmm. And she was willing, she told me she said, "Look, I will give you a great deal on these books. If you uh, take them all. If you take them all." And I mean, like, you know, I'm pretty sure she would have probably asked for like five cents a book or something yeah. stupid like yeah. just to get just to move them and it would have been a good deal and we could have made money on it but i just didn't want that bulk man that would have been a huge chore we could have made money but they were pretty much all fiction there was a little non-fiction in there but it was pretty much all fiction and it was all it, it, it was all like you you, you you see them like uh like the, the best sellers right like I, don't, I I can't think of all the authors now, but it's yeah. just the usual, like nothing like very valuable. But if you lotted it all together, you could have made some good money like oh, that yeah, yeah. for sure. But I did find a few series here um, that we paid 25 cents a piece for that, that are really good. These Casca books? By Barry Sadler. I've never heard of it before, but there's a bunch of these books. And if you see these, like, you see a lot of them. Go ahead and look them up if you want to on eBay. Like a lot of Casco paperbacks or something like that. Uh, these have a, a lot of value. And then these have a ton of value too. This is a Cat in the Stacks mystery um, series. Yep. By Miranda James. Um, I guess it's about a cat that... Uh, Lives in a library? I don't know. Or maybe... I don't know. Look, it's all about cats and books. It's very... Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. I think we have like 12 of those. Yeah. And these, I, I don't know what the, like each one of these, we, we might be talking about 100 to 120 40 dollars in, in this box, mm -hmm. something like that. And I'm just going to make two lots, one and two, yeah. and it's going to be really good. Yeah. The, those Both of those book sets are uh, pretty sought after. Yeah. So... Is that everything? That's everything. Wow, we didn't buy that much. Most of it was at that first sale. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like one sale we went to, we didn't buy a single thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. I always, I always, I'm always kind of a little proud of myself when we walk out of somewhere and we don't buy anything because I'm yeah. like, hey, we had some discipline there. That's yeah. a good thing because there's not something to buy everywhere. Yep, yeah, that's right. You know, for everybody. So, um, I'm not feeling, still not feeling real great. So. 
I think we're going to go ahead and end it here. Yeah. And, um, yeah, thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.